Congressional District 3 now. This is a new district with a wide open seat. You can see it spans from Sierra to Inyo County and includes large areas of Placer County. And looking at the numbers right now for District 3, we have Republican Kevin Kiley versus Democrat Kermit Jones. And there you see the Democrat Kermit Jones has 51% of the vote. ABC 10's Van 2 is live tonight in Placer County and Van you're talking to Kermit Jones and Kevin Kiley. Definitely, and those were early results, but I wanted to show you what's live happening right now. Ballots are still coming in today. Ballots cast today are still coming in, making their way here to the Placer County Election Office in Auburn. You can see workers unloading these trucks coming from all over Placer County, some coming even as far as Tahoe City over the Sierra in very dicey conditions. So thank you to poll worker Sue Daniels, to, who sent us photos showing the dedication to pull this off in the winter storm. So election officials tell us that Caltrans and the sheriff's office even helping escort and plowing the way to ensure these ballots arrive safely to be counted. These remaining ballots, Republican Congressional District 3 candidate Kevin Kiley is hoping will turn the tides in his favor. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, it's still very early, so uh, we got to wait for the votes to come in. Uh, but, you know, I feel like uh, we uh, gave the campaign everything we, we could. Uh, we got a great response from voters, uh, and I think our message resonated. The folks are looking for change. Early returns show first-time candidate veteran Dr. Kermit Jones with a favorable lead. This may turn out to be the surprise of the night. His supporters say they don't believe it is a long shot to send a Democrat to the House of Representatives for this region that has historically leaned Republican. A large chunk of Jones's watch party included dozens of interns who campaigned for him, although they themselves are too young to vote. There are so many things post-Trump era we just can't ignore, um, especially as the youth who are going to be experiencing all these legislative changes in the next few years, and we're going to be the ones reaping the rewards or not the rewards. Still a tight race, Kylie's supporters say they like what he has done as an assemblyman. He's been a consistent critic of Governor Newsom. Basically, a, there's a lot of people who stand for American values, and I think Kylie does. In the end, no matter who wins, District 3 will have a new representative in the House. I look at this as an opportunity for them to get real representation and get someone who knows what it's like to fight for people just like I did in the military. That's exactly what I want to do in Congress, and that's what I've been so honored to have such a big team to do. And of course, it won't be decided until every single vote is counted and counties in California have until December 8th to certify their votes. So again, we're here in Auburn at the Placer County Election Office where ballots cast today are still coming in by the truckloads and as far as Tahoe City. So it will be quite the long night and of course, a long process to count all of these ballots. A busy night ahead. Of course, it's a race van that's getting national attention after Kevin Kiley was endorsed by former President Donald Trump still very early, but Democrat Kermit Jones is ahead as we speak. Van reporting live for us tonight in Placer County. We thank you.